now we know why the Miami Dolphins have protected Jamal Perry from getting poached off the practice squad every week. The Dolphins signed Perry to the active roster Wednesday afternoon, one of three more roster moves the team made. Perry has appeared in three games for the Dolphins in 2021, playing special teams in Week 1 against New England, Week 2 against Buffalo and again in Week 8 in the rematch against the Bills. Perry was a COVID-19 replacement for the opener and a standard elevation the next two times, meaning he was out of standard elevations and the Dolphins would have had to waive him if they wanted to use him in another game. Instead, the Dolphins decided to use one of their two open roster spots to sign Perry to the active roster. Perry was among the four practice squad protections this week, the eighth time in 11 weeks he was protected. The only exceptions came in week one and in week four ahead of the Colts game and in week nine ahead of the Houston game. The move came after special teams mainstay Elijah Campbell missing the game against Baltimore because of a toe injury. Perry played 27 games for the Dolphins two seasons after signing as a free agent during the 2019 offseason. Also Wednesday, the Dolphins added two players to the practice squad, linebacker Kobe Jones and quarterback Jake Luton. Jones is a rookie from Mississippi State, while Luton is a second-year player from Oregon State. Luton started three games for the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2020, though he didn't have much success. Luton completed 54% of his passes with two touchdowns and six interceptions and a passer rating of 54.5. His addition certainly is interesting considering the Dolphins still have Jake Dolagala on the practice squad and teams don't really need two practice squad quarterbacks. This also raises eyebrows in light of the fact both quarterbacks on the active roster, Tua Tungavailoa and Jacoby Brissett, currently are nursing injuries. Breaking down the first week 11 injury report. The Miami Dolphins had a new name on their injury report Wednesday, and it's a significant one. Defensive tackle Christian Wilkins was among two players who did not participate in practice, according to the first injury report of Week 11 ahead of the game against the New York Jets at MetLife Stadium. There's no clear indication as to when or how Wilkins was injured, though the only injury reported in the press box during the Thursday night victory against Baltimore was the knee injury sustained by quarterback Jacoby Brissett in the third quarter. The Dolphins conducted a regular practice Monday and tackle Greg Little was placed on injured reserve the following day, meaning it's entirely possible, if not likely, that Wilkins also was injured in practice when the team returned from its mini-buy. Regardless, Wilkins' status is one to watch considering the significant progress he's made in 2021, his third season in the NFL. It's also possible that the signing of veteran defensive tackle Andrew Billings to the practice squad Tuesday was related to Wilkins' status, though the Dolphins also have veteran nose tackle John Jenkins who could step up and play a bigger role. The other player who did not practice Wednesday was defensive back Elijah Campbell, who missed the Baltimore game with a toe injury. Campbell has been a mainstay on special teams and perhaps the Dolphins signing Jamal Perry to the active roster as an indication that Campbell is likely to have to miss a second consecutive game. The Dolphins listed three players as limited participants Wednesday, starting with quarterback Tua Tungavailoa, who's still dealing with his finger injury, though head coach Brian Flores has said he expects him to start against the Jets. Also limited were safety Brandon Jones, ankle, and linebacker Andrew Van Ginkel, back. Jones has been on the injury report for several weeks now with that ankle injury, but he has yet to miss a game. He was not spotted at practice Monday. Among the four players listed as full participants but on the injury report was Brissett with his knee injury. The others were linebacker Jerome Baker, knee, guard Robert Jones, wrist, and tight end Adam Shaheen, shoulder. Jets injury report. The Jets listed three players as limited participants in practice Wednesday, most notably quarterback Zach Wilson, knee. That came after head coach Robert Sala revealed that veteran Joe Flacco would be starting at quarterback against the Dolphins. Also listed as limited was rookie first-round pick Elijah Vera Tucker, the guard from USC. Vera Tucker has started all nine games for the Jets this season. 